Well, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has promised Labor will continue consulting communities in the New South Wales Hunter region over an offshore wind project. The PM visited Newcastle yesterday, one day after the Energy Minister Chris Bowen held closed-door meetings with the community leaders following local backlash from the project. And joining us live now is the Director of Port Stephens Tourism, Frank Future, who attended Chris Bowen's community consultation. Frank, good to see you. Thank you for your time, by the way. Now... Uh, the Prime Minister says there has been sufficient consultation over this project. Has there been? No, not at all. We've been... Uh, we were first informed around March uh, this year uh, and had some meetings with government representatives, but then it went quiet, and then the next thing, it was basically and virtually a done deal. So uh, we're very uh, unhappy in the community here. Uh, it's a very large fishing community, both professional, commercial and recreational. Mm. And we have a very extensive whale watching industry and I'm part of that one. Uh, so, no, we felt that um, they've made a decision already and they really uh, needed to consult with us realistically. And, okay. So, uh, so are those reasons that you pointed out there, that is that's, that's why you're against it from a tourism point of view or an environmental point of view or just a visual point of view? Well, it's, it's all, really. Uh, the Port Stephens is a, a very beautiful place and uh, I operate out in the open ocean with whales and, and uh, dolphins, take people swimming with dolphins. Uh, and uh, it, it's noted as it's an ecotourism destination. And then to place uh, all these massive turbines out there, and they will be visible as much as they may try and tell us that they won't be. They definitely will be. They're within 20 kilometres of our coast. We have a number of islands off the coast here, so it, it's a, a beautiful place. And uh, we're not against renewables, quite the reverse, but we have some problems in Port Stephens where created by defence over PFOS pollution of uh, farmlands around the Williamtown yeah. Airport. And we've suggested that this might be a great way of uh, them putting, um, not turbines, but um, solar panels all over hundreds of hectares of ruined farmland. Okay. Mm. OK, so yeah, you, you were at the meeting with Chris Bowen. The Prime Minister yeah. says he, he is now open to more consultation. Are you of the view that they might change their mind or do you think they're, you know, full steam ahead on their plan to have these wind turbines out in the sea? Well, he seemed, Chris Bowen seemed pretty uh, committed to it uh, yesterday, but I, I'm happy to hear that the Prime Minister, because he originally uh, opposed the PEP-11, which was a gas drilling uh, project in exactly the same area. Uh, he opposed it, the uh, Albo. And I even took him out offshore to uh, have a look at the area. But um, now apparently that's uh, also back on the table uh, again because the High Court's decision to overturn some of ScoMo's rulings. Uh, so not only is it the uh, wind turbines we're looking at, we've also got gas rigs that will be out there as well okay. so yeah it's okay. uh, complicated yeah no it is uh, frank future uh, we'll get you on again as that story progresses but it's important for people to know about this so thanks for uh, your time this morning appreciate it